All right, so for my third vlog, I watched the film Psycho, um, which was directed by Alfred Hitchcock, and it was released in 1960. And it's about this girl named Marion who steals money from her job and then goes on the run. And as she's, like, going on the run. <laughs> and as she's on the run, she, it's, like, really rainy, and she can't see anything out of her car, so she stops at this little motel that she finds called Bates Motel, and she gets there and um, is greeted by Norman Bates, and he gives her, like, a room, but then she starts having all these little weird, like, instances with him. Like, he, she could hear him yelling back and forth with his mom, and then, like, he made her food and like watched her eat it and there were just all these like weird little uncomfortable instances and then finally she's like in her room and she goes to take a shower and then gets murdered so after she dies in the shower then the rest of the film focuses on um her sister and her boyfriend that are looking for her and they basically find out that like Norman's mom wasn't actually well she was there but she wasn't alive and he basically was like dressed up as her to kill Marion and, and was like kind of you know talking back and forth with his mom but it was really just himself so <clears throat> some of the terms that we learned about that um were used in uh Psycho one was omniscient point of view um, because it wasn't just off of one character's point of view. Like, we got to see, like, Norman, we got to see Marion, and then we got to see the sister and the boyfriend's point of view, like, also. Like, it just was someone that was kind of showing the story, not directly telling it themselves. Um, and then another term, um, that was used, um, was the long take. Um, and this was not used, um, often in the film Psycho, um, because Psycho's was, like, very well known for its, like, editing, and there wasn't, like, many, like, long shots, but, um, there was one, and it was when she was driving, like, on the runaway before she found the hotel, um, and it's her driving and especially because of like the rain and, and the headlights and she couldn't really see anything. So this was like a good use of the long take. And another term that we learned about in class uh, was mechanical effects, which are basically <clears throat> effects like including um, props and things that are used during the actual filming um, of the scene. And a couple examples from Psycho, um, one would be the shower scene, um, because they used, um, certain camera movements and sound effects to make it very, like, impactful without actually showing, like, a lot of blood and, and like, violence and, and that kind of thing. Um, and they used... Um, a knife that had a retractable blade so it could like look like it was like going in um, as part of that and then they obviously used um, prosthetics and makeup as well for the blood and everything um, and then another example of mechanical effects in the film was at the end when it's revealed that Norman had like his dead mother at the motel um obviously it wasn't an actual dead person and in order to like make the actual mummy they used um a human sized doll with bandages and then they added wig glasses um all that kind of stuff to make it look a little more real and another term from the 60s that we learned about was optical effects and um those were also used throughout the film and they were also used um, in the scene where Marion is killed. And I was, when I was reading about it, I read about the, like the optical effect example when she um, 
reaches her hand out and grabs the shower curtain and I just thought that was interesting because the first time that I watched this film was for um cinema class in high school and I remember talking a lot about that specific shot a lot so I think that was obviously one of the very like iconic ones even within the shower scene itself which was already like a really iconic scene overall I really liked this film and I'm really glad that I got to watch it again because um like I said I watched it for cinema class in high school but I honestly didn't remember a lot of the important like elements of it and my cinema class wasn't as in-depth as this one so like rewatching it again with all these new terms and looking for them within it made me kind of like appreciate it more um obviously I knew that it was like a very like iconic and, and popular film but um I don't think I saw exactly why until I got to rewatch it knowing all these terms and more of like what went into making it um, as great as it was.